Managing hypothermia in the field can be quite difficult, but there is a way that you can use common equipment that you'll have during a backpacking trip to create what is called a burrito wrap. With this burrito wrap, you can passively heat up and warm up your patient um, using, like I said, the equipment that you already have. You realistically need four things. You're going to need a tarp or a ground cloth of some sort, and that's essentially to protect them from further elements. If you have the ability to erect a tent, that would be beneficial as well. Get them out of the environment in which they were in when they became hypothermic. So you'll need your tarp or your ground cloth. You'll need a, some sort of a sleeping pad, whether that's closed cell or inflatable. Um, you'll need a sleeping bag. Then the fourth thing really depends on what kind of situation they're in. If they are wet and all of their clothing is wet and cold, you're going to need to strip them down and you can put them inside what's called a vapor seal or a vapor wrap. And essentially what that is, is a lot of people will be carrying garbage bags as part of their backpacking equipment. A lot of times they use it to keep their sleeping bag dry. What you can do is you can take two garbage bags, you can cut a hole in the top of one that will go over the patient's head. So they'll have a garbage bag going down to about their waist. And then the second garbage bag will come up from their feet. And in the middle, you will actually duct tape the two open ends of the garbage bag. And that creates a vapor seal. So all of their humidity, all of their heat will be contained inside that vapor seal. And when you put the patient in a vapor seal, in a sleeping bag, on top of a sleeping pad, in a ground cloth or tarp that creates a burrito wrap and is extremely effective in rewarming the patient. Now again, it's a passive rewarming, it's not active, but it's gonna be probably the best thing you have in most situations. And you can obviously increase its efficacy if you were to in include bottles of warm water in areas like the axilla and the groin. Um, but we're gonna demonstrate how to do a burrito wrap here in a moment. So I've already laid out my tarp, and you can see that it's actually in a diagonal formation, sort of askew from the, the plane of the video. And that's because you actually wanna lie the patient end to end in a crosswise fashion. So remember, we had a couple different parts that we needed for the burrito wrap. We've got the tarp. We've also got our sleeping mat or our sleeping pad. If you have several, you can put several on top of each other. Ultimately, that's just to help insulate them from the ground so that they're not losing any heat from their body via direct contact with the ground. So you've got your sleeping pad there. If you have more than one sleeping bag, this is preferential. One sleeping bag will actually just lie flat and Head will be up here and that's not the one the patient's going to go into they're actually going to go into the second sleeping bag that i have laid out here and for ease might as well have it as open as it'll go and i'm going to use one of my son's stuffed animals to demonstrate that and you might be thinking why not use a real person and the answer is I'm on quarantine from COVID-19. So, as I mentioned earlier, you'll need two garbage bags, typical little garbage bag. In one of the garbage bags, you'll actually create a hole at the top. So I'm just going to tear a hole at the top, and that is going to be for the patient's head. And my little man will slide up through there. And now this patient has the first half of a vapor seal, able to breathe, no issues there. Now, with the second half of the vapor seal, you'll actually bring it up under the patient and encase the first bag. And it's easiest if these are overlying pretty flat so that you can do the next part which is often the most difficult and that's to seal the vapor seal so i just have some standard duct tape here 
And the best way to do it is to line it up with the patient and that bag. And if they're able to assist you and roll onto their stomach for a moment, you might be able to get the back portion of it. And remember, nothing in this situation needs to be perfect. So now you have a vapor sealed patient. Two garbage bags, end to end, a hole for the head, duct taped together. So now we're almost done with our burrito wrap. It's quite simple. You will then place the patient in the sleeping bag and zip them up. If you have a third sleeping bag, it's actually nice to lay on top, even more warm. If you have a mummy bag style, such as this, as you can see here, you can enclose the patient's head. And so now they're on the sleeping pad, they're in the vapor seal, in the sleeping bag. Now you wanna wrap your burrito, so to speak. And that'll start just by taking this bottom portion and you'll fold it up. I'm gonna move the patient up a little bit to make this beneficial and the appropriate size. You'll fold up the bottom. We'll take your two sides, fold them across each other. And as you get towards the patient's head, you're gonna make sure that you're doing additional folds of the part so that you're not suffocating them. The patient's still able to not only see, but breathe. And with this flap, you'll either tuck it under their head, depending on the scenario, or if it is snowing or raining out, you can actually gently close it up, maybe put a piece of tape right here. They can still easily breathe through these areas and they're not gonna become hypoxic in that situation. Push this patient off to the side, let them rewarm. You can put hot bottles of water in there. Um, you wanna make sure that it's not too hot. Um, this is also a great setup. The burrito wrap is a great setup to put onto something such as a rope litter that we demonstrate in one of the other videos. And you can put this on top of a couple trekking poles on either side and then the rope litter, you can carry this patient out.